CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Okay, at not the parking lot uh, because it's locked. The wind is howling up here. Right, you know, and the freeway almost got blown off the freeway. But anyway, we're on our way. Okay, you can see the gate is closed. The parking lot is empty. Thanks to uh, the shutdown by Orange October. The hunt is on for Orange October. We don't know who it is yet, but it's an insidious mole from Russian GRU. Anyway, this basically is the trailhead. Coming up here out of the parking lot. If you've never been up here, and uh, my expectation for Stonewall is that uh, it's going to be even worse. Uh, last time I was up there, the wind was howling. I was froze my booty off. Today, though, hopefully you can see. I'll give you a pan. It is a crystal clear day. Had a couple of small rain storms come through. Not as bad as uh, north of us up in the LA County area, Riverside area, but I uh, was wondering how much, how bad the trails were gonna be. Looks like we're, uh, we're Gucci. I don't know. There's some standing water up here, but I don't see some, any mud or anything, but uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, coming up to a little fork in the road here, so to speak. So, if you go that way, or let's see, yeah, down that way, Three Sisters Falls, straight ahead. We're going to head down kind of around into uh, Eagles Peak. So, this will be the, the big turn, I believe. There's quite a few people out here today. Another group coming down. <coughs> okay, we're off the hard pan, as you can see. Going through some nice trail. It's a nice trail all the way, kind of up. Um, you don't have to have GPS, but uh, certainly easier on your feet. Probably tired of hearing me talk about that. Anywho, it's pretty up here. Uh, been raining, so things are starting to green up. It's going to be nice. The trail is damp, but not muddy. Uh, you can see they had some pretty good runoff, though. Looks like some other hikers also used this trail this morning. Getting up and wheels up out of the house this morning at 7 a.m. This just wasn't early enough. Quite a few folks up here. Although I would have been able to get a parking space had the lot been open. That can be an issue if you're coming up here on a busy weekend. Parking lot gets full, but there's parking out on the dirt road, but you gotta walk a ways because they don't want you parking too close. The road's narrow. Coming into the part of the trail that I remember most, which is, I don't know, through a little saddle here. Between a couple of hills before you shoot back up. But uh, I remember it because it's so as peaceful and nice. Pretty little area. It's patched with chaparral and stuff, but uh, 
nice cut trail through here. Okay, we're in the uphill section now. And given that I've not been riding my bike all week, I'm probably going to be pretty out of shape. This is the part I remember. Also, it's a bit of a scramble up and over these rocks around here. Not too far to a false summit. Once you're there, it's, I think it's straightforward. We'll see. This isn't that hard, but uh, it's handy to have poles, trekking poles. Might be able to go up and around some of them going this way too. You can see we're already starting to get a nice view out this direction more or less to the south All right. okay great view this is a really cool little outcropping here good place to take pictures can you be so inclined we're going to kind of go from that way and on top of that and over there's something up here okay I'm at the fall summit the first summit uh, I think that's the actual summit right up there. So, uh, man, it's, uh, <laughs> it's really whipping up here. So, I may have to yell at the camera when we get to the top. Okay. So, along the way, we've seen some markings up this trail so we could tell the people how to get here, which is really kind of a jerkish thing to do, but this is even more jerkish. Um, thanks, Jeremy. Uh, appreciate that. Maybe next time you could use water soluble paint or something. Uh, actually, don't even do that. Once you bring some sticks, paint the tops of them red, and you can ride on them and leave those on the trail for your buddies. Uh, because this is this is everybody's backyard. Okay, you're now looking from the direction we came. There's that uh, bird down there still hunting, having a great time surfing the winds. Probably in the activation zone now. Mainly because we're closing out the uh, elevation, certainly. So I'm going to go over there to the peak where the benchmark is set up. Fire this thing up. I'm trying to find some shelter out of the wind. It'll be hard to hear people. So uh, let's go set up. Okay. So got the antenna. Got my little stake there. Um, it's all set up. You can see it's, let's see, as you can see, it's, it can get pretty bent over. It's not too bad right now, the wind just died down, but uh, I've got it tied off. I pre-measure these uh, little ropes. So there's my stake, and then uh, pre-measure these guys so I can stake them out and just throw them in here, and then they've got little... Makes it really easy to do my myself, um, especially when it's blowing really hard, um, which it was a little bit a few minutes ago. So, of course, it dies down now. So. But anyway, that's my setup. Let me throw a coax on there and get on the air. Charlie Lima Charlie, November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, someone's on the air. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, someone's on the air. Well, there's a contest going on today, so the neighbors are really busy. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Please copy John in Massachusetts. Roger, ro Roger, Roger, John. Uh, I'm uh, portable uh, summits on the air uh, outside of Alpine, California. Roger, Roger. Coming in just can I get your, uh, your first name? Uh, my, my first name is Chris and California. Over. Roger. Uh, I 
Roger, 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 Roger. Thanks, Ma. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. One Charlie Lima, Charlie, uh, California, Delta Mike One Q. Uh, November One Charlie Lima, Charlie. What's your name? Uh, the name here is Chris. State is California. I got you about uh, five nine here. Over. I'm seven one here. Over. Uh, Chris, this is November Zero. X-ray November November. Jackson Juliet Alpha X-ray Oscar November in California. Uh, Roger, Roger, uh, Jackson. I got you about a five nine here. Uh, I'm up on uh, I'm up on Eagle Peak, uh, just east of Alpine. Over. Roger, Roger. About five five QSL. QS, QSL. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Peak Q and Z. November zero. X-ray. November. November. Uh, SLA radio whiskey contact. November one. Charlie Lima. Charlie Summits on the air. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, uh, uh, KD0, IRW. Uh, Kate, KD0, IRW, I'm uh, California, and I've got you at about a 5-8 five eight here, 5-8. Five eight. What's your name there? The name, uh, the name here is Chris, uh, Charlie Hotel, Romeo, India, Sierra, over. Okay, thanks, awesome. Uh, good to work with you on a summit there. I appreciate you. Roger, the summit is Whiskey 6, Sierra Charlie 156, over. Whiskey 6, Sierra Charlie 156, is that correct? QSL, QSL. Let me, get, let me give you a club call here, too. Uh, let me know when you're ready. Uh, go ahead on the club call. Call is Kilo Alpha Zero, Kilo Whiskey United. Kilo Alpha Zero, Kilo Whiskey United, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL, and then what was your call sign? Uh, my call sign is... Kilo Delta Zero, Italy, Radio uh, Somebody stepped up. You key, I got uh, Kilo Delta Zero. Go again. Kilo Delta Zero, Italy, Radio Whiskey. Uh, Roger, Roger, QSL. I got Kilo Delta Zero, India, Radio Whiskey. Uh, thanks for coming back to me. Uh, where are you at? Uh, I'm in Kansas. Okay, you're booming in here. Quite awesome. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I just uh, set up my uh, new uh, uh, Alpha Antenna Pro Okay, <clears throat> I uh, packed up, shut down, I guess not in that order, shut down, packed up, and uh, now going to D-Summit, and uh, transfer over to Stonewall, but I'll just be using a uh, HT, my little uh, handheld, to activate from up there because there's a big contest going on, and I'm going to set up my, uh, I'm going to see if I can set up, it's totally goofball thing that I grabbed this morning for my beam to hold it but uh, that should get us into San Diego maybe even Yuma we'll see but uh, you can hear the contest going on in the background so I generally leave it to 146.52 when I hike in case there's another hiker out there that's in trouble in a canyon and can't reach a repeater or anything else um, they typically will use Mountain protocol. Use 146.520 to call out for help at uh, certain times of the day. So I just leave it on there, or I'll scan through it um, for that reason. And in case somebody's trying to get hold of me, they know I'm monitoring that all the time. So here we go. All right, down I go. Beautiful day. Perfect, perfect weather. Not as windy as I expect. Don't know how much. 
battery I have left. I am out of GoPro batteries, so the rest of this will have to be done with iPhone. Okay, starting out in the Cree Maca uh, Peak Campground. I'm going to cross the freeway here and head on up to the hill. Uh, beautiful, beautiful weather today. Uh, report no ice on the trail, so I can leave the micro spikes at home. So, all I have is my HT, some extra clothing, and um, I got my beam antenna. You can see it off there on your right, hanging on my bag. So, I'll put that together up there, should be fun. You can't see, but at the very top of that mountain. A little lookout area. Tiny little people up there. That's where we're headed. Hey guys. How's it going? Good, and you? Good. Good. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to come out. Um, I've built the antenna and we're going to go up to the top now with this goofy thing. Let's see how many people we can scare. So this is my crazy setup. I had it strapped to the uh, pole here. Talked to guys as far as uh, far north as San Pedro. Uh, it's really, I'm now I'm really cold. I put up here. I should have brought two layers instead of just one. It's so warm down down in the parking lot. But uh, I'm now very cold. <laughs> and uh, I got a bunch of contacts. This thing seems to be working. Uh, and we'll call it activated. Let's see, let's see.